Hi guys, my name is Steven, and this is the second video talking about how to make a graphical user interface uh, with ROS uh, using Kivi, which is a Python framework. This is the uh, second tutorial, so if you missed the first one, uh, you can just go back and watch that. So what we're going to talk about today is how to connect a publisher to a topic. So I've got basically exactly where I left off last time. Let me get rid of that. So last time we created a simple Python template for creating a app. And then over in our rosgui.kv file, we created a layout, which created a button and a label. And we'll go ahead and look at that. This is the button and the label that we created last time. So now we're going to make this button publish a topic every time we press it. Okay, to do that, first thing I need is a publisher. So this is just going to be your typical publisher in Python. So I'm going to say rospy.publish, publisher. I'm going to say what my topic is going to be, and I've just created a topic called button. I'll say what type that topic will be, and then also I need my queue size, and I'll just set that to 1. Alright, so I'm referring to this bool, which I haven't imported yet. So from standard messages dot message, I'm going to import the bool. So this is just the standard boolean and raw standard messages. So this should have created a, um, a topic. So I'm going to go ahead and run my application and just do a quick check with Ross topic list and I see that I have a topic called button. So we're ready to proceed. Now that we have a publisher, now we need a basically a way to know when our button is pressed. So to do that, I'm going to access a property called onPress. Now onPress just happens to come with a button, so it's just the property within button. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my web browser here, and where I'm at is I'm on the KiviMD components web page under buttons, and basically if you want to know what properties you have access to, you scroll down here uh, to the API section. Uh, here I can see, you know, for example, if I'm using a, a MD text button, I have access to this on press, uh, on press property. So anyways, I need to have, basically, I need to call a function from this KV file and the function is going to exist in my Python file. So let's type app dot and then whatever function I want to make up. So I'm just going to call it my function and we're going to pass it whatever arguments it has. All right, so what app is, app is a instance of the um, app object that was passed when we created this class. So basically, I by default have access to app. And I can say app dot, and then whatever function I've created here. So let's go create my function. So I'm within this class here. I'm gonna say define my function self arguments okay so for the moment let's just print something so I'm gonna print um, button press so let's run our application again when I press my button I see it says button press and it does that immediately as I press the button all right so now that I've done that all I got to do is publish to this uh, topic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable. And I'm going to send this to my publisher. So pub dot, uh, what is it? Pub dot publish. And I'm going to publish my message. So let's see what that does. So let's look at my topic, Ross topic echo button. There you go. We have a topic that gets published every time I press my button. 
Okay, so another thing you might want to do is um, instead of publish something, you might want to subscribe to something. So maybe where it says hello world, we would like to subscribe to some topic, uh, or maybe we just want to be able to change this programmatically from Python. So that's what we'll look at first, actually. So maybe when I push press me, uh, we'll make hello world say button pressed. So let's take a look at that. All right, so there's basically one thing I need to go over before we get into this. Um, these, these widgets have the ability to have an ID. So I could say ID and I could call it whatever I want. I could say my label. And when it has an ID, this gives me a way to access this widget from actually anywhere but specifically from my Python code. Okay, so if I want to access my label, sorry, yeah, my label um, from this function, what I can say is self.screen, and the reason I had to do that is, so self.screen basically gets me to my root, <laughs> so it gets me here, self.screen, and then I need to go to IDs, and then I need to specify which ID I want to go to. So I've gone to my label. And from within my label, which property do I want to change? And I can specify text. And I could say button press. Alright, so again, I needed to basically go down the tree of widgets to get down to my text property. Uh, so the first root of my tree is the screen widget and then that has a property called IDs and the IDs contains a list of all the IDs in your Kibi file so this could have had an ID um, called my button it can be whatever you want uh, just note it doesn't have quotations around it so anyways, um, IDs was a property of the screen widget, uh, which contains all the labels, or sorry, all the IDs. <laughs> so my label was one of the IDs, and then my label contains properties, one of those properties being text. So when my button is pressed, basically this text property of my label should get changed. So let's go look at that. So when I press my button, it says button pressed. Okay, so um, I think that's probably all I want to go over in this video. Um, in the next video, perhaps we'll include a subscriber in our application, but mostly I would like to talk a little more about this layout. Uh, so we haven't gone into any detail on how to basically nest layouts or anything like that. Uh, so we'll get into that in some of the future videos. Thank you.